Yeah. 
This is the month of July. We jump away. I welcome you to this precious month. You make it halfway. His faithfulness endure it for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You heard the stories of coronavirus. You heard about the day that he came. You heard them that are quarantined. You heard of them that are hospitalized. But none of these came ninety. And we give him praise because we know it is not because we're too careful. Yes, sir. But because we are fulfilling scripture. Amen. John 15. Number four. Look out for the prayer point for the month in our WhatsApp page and the church Facebook page. We'll be furnishing you with all the prayer points as they come. Amen. Yeah. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch. And sweeter and sweeter than that men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will on the line. And it shall be irrevocable, it shall be done unto you. Hearing, I love this one. Is my father glorified that he be a much fruit? So shall he be my disciple. Please take it. God is glorified, not when you bear fruit. He is glorified when you bear much fruit. You see, your fruitfulness, it is not to your credit. It is first to his credit. The more thing we understand it, we will not do certain things we do. First of all, to establish the point in your level, that to you, you get to know that your prosperity, your fruitfulness in all around, when I don't want to use the word prosperity because it can be construed to money. Do you know that you prosper in the state of your heart? Peace, joy is a kind of prosperity. But you don't know it? So I don't want to use the word because that is so misconstrued. But that you become fruitful, not just fruitful, much fruitful. So the Lord said for us this month is our moment of abiding in the moon. Our time on the last day was one of the preferences to go deep into it. Number one, when we abide in Him, our supply is not of our labor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you abide in Him, your supply, your supply, it's not in your level, it is in your connectivity. Because talk about the branch, the branch never wonder how it's being fed. As long as it's connected to the fire, fire and the ground. Are you getting what I'm saying? That this is your connectivity that determines your fruitfulness. 
Yes, sir. I was sharing something with us on Sunday. What some of people think, some of what we may think is a non believer in his wisdom said, People think I do what I do in church because I'm rich. They think I do what I do in church because it is the way I am fed. So when I come out and give one million, two million, they thought I have money. They didn't know I'm setting in my own a trap for God to be able to feed myself. Oh, yes. Now, it's a wonderful wisdom. This is also when I go to church, this is another lot of children. He said, when I go to church, Bishop, and I do what I do, I don't do it for the leaders and what I see them do. No, no, I know that that's a temple of God. I do it and wait, wait for God. Do what I need to do if you abide in him. And look at another word. He said, there are some people that abide in him, but they are not feeling well. And he said, and my word. That's where the problem starts. One, you can be abiding in him, others in church, then the word is not abiding in you. You may make fruits, but not much fruit. Because there's a leftover for those who come around. If you know what I said. No, there's always a sustenance until they realize their rights. Something needs to keep you going until you come to the knowledge. The Bible says, until you come to the full, full knowledge. Someone say full. That means there are knowledge and there are full knowledge.
some of you are grateful to God this morning. Hallelujah! I promise I'm not going to preach, but that thing is dead.
Pray, I'm not in hell. You will not feel so disjected. In the most unlikely times, he makes them. In the most unlikely places, he makes them. All he said, stay put, abide, watch me. I, I saw how the grain and the vine, I saw that it is not the vine that brings the grain, the fruit. It is the branch. I it, is it is not the stem that brings, it is the branch. You know why? So that even if you cut the branch off, the stem stays there. It produces for us. So you see, you can never say God without me. There's no without you with God. Because as you are branching out, God is bringing forth more. Out of the stem, the stem has a consistency. Thank you. 
opportunity. Yes, sir. All things are real. Yes. Meaning you are standing a chance of opportunity. Yes. Yes. This month, every opportunity you have missed before yes, on a new ground, I declare restoration unto you. I shall be a mother. 